right, we're going to install some plugins on this console for the uh, compressor and the EQ. And these plugins are free from Personas uh, for those that have registered products. So we are going to connect into uh, Personas' website using Universal Control along with this console being connected to the network. So Universal Control needs to see the console and it needs to have access to the internet uh, with your login information. We're going to connect into the control port on the console. All right, we're going to use just a regular switch. This is an older 10100 switch. We don't need really speed with this. So we're just going to connect this into our LAN. All right, so with everything connected, we're gonna power it on. Okay, everything is booted up. All right, there's not too much more that we need to do out here. So we're gonna to go to the computer and um, we're gonna bring up uh, Universal Control. Alright, so we brought up Universal Control 3.6.2. Alright, that looks good. And uh, when I brought it up, it can see the uh, console. Now, if this was not connected, there would be nothing down here. You wouldn't see anything at all. So we're just going to click once on that. Okay, so it's automatically come up. Uh, in this uh, particular screen. So what we're going to do is let's go to the uh, gear icon and we're going to go over to plugins. Okay, and as you can tell on the plugins uh, there's not anything listed here. So that, what that means is that the default compressors, like there's three default compressors and I believe there's three default EQs uh, those are completely separate from the plugins that we're going to uh, install. So what we want to do is click on install and it sees here under um, under my Personas account that I have this uh, uh, Fat Channel Collection Volume 1. So we're going to install these plugins. You have to forgive me here. Okay, it shows us downloading. All right, that looks good. All right. Alright, so it's going to go through and um, is in the process of authorization. Alright, so when it's going through each of the, um, it's going through each one and it's authorizing it uh, to be used with the console that the universal control is attached to. So we'll come back to this here when it's done. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do, and let me see if I can uh, get in here. There we go. Okay, uh, the, the yellow type that you see down there just shows you need to restart the device to apply the changes. So let's go restart the console. And uh, what I'd like to do is, and I think uh, I mentioned that in another video, is to do the uh, soft power. So we're gonna go to home, soft power, and then confirm the power off and it goes through and closes any sessions or anything. All right. All 
All right, and because this is a computer, we're going to give it about uh, maybe 15, 20 seconds, and then we're going to uh, turn it back on. All right, we're up and running. Let's go check uh, Universal Control. All right, Universal Control's back up, and it sees the uh, console, so we're just going to click on it. All right, and let's see here. And I'm right back up here in the upper right hand corner of the screen. We're gonna select the uh, gear icon. And let's go over and take a look at the plugins. If I get my mouse to work, there we go. All right, it shows all of the, it shows the collection and it shows everything is activated. What we want to do is uh, go through, we're going to do another power off. We just want to reboot it again, make sure that it comes up fresh. All right, we are rebooted. And so let's go through and uh, take a look at this. Sort of darken it up here a little bit. Hopefully you can see a little bit better. And we've got channel one selected over there. We go back on the compressor. So we can go through here and select different compressors. So it looks like everything uh, came through just fine. There's the standard compressor. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to uh, EQ. A 2BQ. So we may not use these new plugins that often, but it is nice to have them available in case something does come up. All right, we've got everything set back to uh, the default ones on the console. Something comes up where we need something a little bit different for compression or EQ, we'll be ready to go. In the Fat Channel plug-in manual, it goes through all the different types of compressors uh, that they have that are all plug-ins, and as well, it does cover uh, the EQ. But more importantly, with their manual, they have uh, a recipe. And in some of the manuals, there are recipes at the, at the end of them. And, uh, this one here is for rice dressing. I've seen some other for some like Louisiana jerk chicken, I believe. Anyway, it's something that is um, rather funny that they would uh, include in their manuals. But uh, anyway. All right, hope this helps. And uh, just remember the plugins, the plugins may add a little bit of latency to your signal, but it shouldn't really be anything too noticeable. All right, it's all powered off. Got to move this out of the way. Got to do the same thing to our other Studio Live 32. All right, thanks for watching.